Hello, everyone, and welcome to Socks episode 21. This is our first episode of Socks that's not live because apparently Twitch is down. So we're doing this pre recorded. What's up? What's up? Um, hey. We'll see hey, guys. If it makes a difference. I feel like we haven't introduced ourselves in a long time. I feel like we should say our Oh, names. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Olivia. I'm Skylar. I'm Sydney. Ooh. It's good, guys. And we're Socks. Okay, so first piece of news, which is some really great news. Spotify and Kakao M have come to an agreement. So all of Kakao M's music is back on Spotify. I know Sid's probably the most <laughs> excited about <laughs> Yeah, that. literally all of I her stuff. A, first of all, like Spotify is my like music source other than like SoundCloud and like, you know, off, off of air like i don't have apple music or title or anything so when they took my music off when i tell you my k-pop playlist dropped by like four hours and i was so stressed i only lost one song on my playlist that's a problem because that means you don't have enough of the boys on oh no there. i lost you two songs <laughs> Cause it was Dude, wait, what did you lose, Olivia? I lost uh, So Bad by Stacy and uh, The Stealer. No, S Salty by uh, The Boys. See, no, no, no. That's crazy. Because when I tell you I lost all of my Monster X songs, all of my songs by The Boys, all of the songs, well, not all of the songs, but a lot of the songs from Seventeen. Like, I was really out here like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I didn't even lose what the IU I songs I like. I didn't lose the IU songs I like, but I lost the um, newest, a lot of Astro music, oh. like, and especially the Sanha and Moonbin subunit. I lost that idea. And I was literally sitting in my room like yesterday when I saw the text that they were back. When I tell you the first thing I looked for was Salty by the Boys. <laughs> and when I was able to play it, I immediately queued up Bad Idea. And I was like, the whole day was raised from a seven to a 20 out of 10. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you know... I didn't lose any. Oh, you didn't lose anything? Oh, that must be so nice. <laughs> yeah, because I'm on, I'm on Apple Music. Um, oh. That's oh, so the only reason. you finally reason. get to flex on something because you have Apple Music? I know. I know, I know Spotify significantly better. <gasps> I just don't want to move my music or playlist. Yeah. That was the only time it did me good. You. Really? I know you don't want to, but there are apps that help you if you want. I feel like but that would take so much time. All of my music came back into my playlists and everything. So that was really cool. Yeah, when I saw uh -huh. Stacy popped it's up. It's like I didn't have to re-add them. Yeah, when huh? Stacy popped up back in my K-pop playlist, I queued it today in the Starbucks drive-thru. Yep. <laughs> Like, they just kind of, like, came back right where you'd left them. And I was like, perfect. Because if I had to go through all of those different artists and find the songs for them that I liked, I would have gone crazy. Yeah, so the yeah. agreement allows Spotify to play all of their music um, around the world except for in Korea, I think. Makes sense. They have oh, to no, 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 no. So scratch well. that. Spotify totally... <laughs> won this agreement. They got to play their music in Korea, too. Ooh. I'm what? not saying I'm rude. I feel bad. I feel bad because I'm always like, screw capitalism. But in this specific case, I really like music and want it available to me. I don't really care. Well, I do care about the South Koreans and their right to listen to the music, but it seems like they've been really using Melon a lot, so I don't really know. Yeah, Melon's the number one streaming service is. there. Yeah, exactly. Be fine. Also, they were stealing money from their artists, so. That's true. Yeah, that is true. And that's yeah. lame. All right, next up, Big Hit has renamed their label uh, big hit labels to hybe 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 yeah i'm gonna i don't know how it's pronounced i'm calling it hybe because that sounds better than hybe i don't know what it's called or how you say it but i was really stressed because i thought that like big hit 
entertainment was being turned into hive and so i thought that the big hit logo before the bts and txt videos that we love so much would change and i was very mad about it i don't know why but the little the little mm-hmm. dots and then the blue 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 and then the Ding. artists and yeah. music for healing like that makes me feel something. So I was like, how are you just going to take away my right? But then, no, they were like, it's just going to be the overarching um, oh. company over all their subsidiaries. That's really Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they're going to start opening up doing stuff too like doing stuff for acting talent yeah so they're going to branch out from music in the other industries so i'm guessing probably kind of like how sm started doing a couple years ago where they're gonna be managing actors and um maybe even okay. producing entertainment sm doesn't produce entertainment but they uh they manage actors i think big hit will though because they already did island and everything yeah. with mnet so i wouldn't be surprised Mm-hmm. I'm wow, to... big hits basically a big three company, okay. or they're all. Four. I know it's kind of it's got a, the big <laughs> four now. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, started from the bottom. Now, we're now here. we're here. Literally, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Liz Superman is like He's... punching drywall right now. <laughs> You know he's mad yeah, because yeah, there's um I'm not even gonna say all the the ripoffs the, from Big Hit. Their profits dropped eighty percent. What? Since no when, way. I don't know when the sense when is, but I think it was like last month or like the last couple months. Dang. That's crazy. So, um, y'all know what you gotta do. Y'all need a red velvet. Yeah, <laughs> you need that red velvet. Yeah. Come back. Let's go. Speaking of, speaking of, we got an announcement that this April we're getting a Wendy solo album. Let's go, Wolo. 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 Ew. Ew. And uh, oh the producer God. of Psycho tweeted that the album is going to be fire. And I was like, ooh, ooh okay, okay. Ooh. Good for Wendy. Yeah, he's really good friends with her. And he loves her, so I hope he worked on it. I hope we get some good stuff. She is, I think she's the best singer in K-pop. I really do. Not to put anyone else down, I just think her vocal ability is kind of unmatched. With the exception of maybe mm. Taeyeon from Girls' Generation. Maybe, okay, best female singer. I'll put it that way. Um, Because she's amazing. So I'm really excited to see her get a solo. I wonder if Rosé getting a solo kind of prompted them to do this. I don't know. (laughs) Might have, but also, at least she's getting a solo. Yeah, only can benefit us, the fans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, YG, SM doing something right. When you do something right, we're here for it. <laughs> you know who never does anything right? JYP. We just have to like mention JYP and say something like we shit. We talked about everyone else. I just wanted to like shit on him a little bit. Dude, I almost said something earlier and I was like, let me stop. But then oh, then you did. Okay, you know so. what? You know what though? You're right. But but he kind of but but twice is kind of killing it and i get a lot of content and we see true. momo doing stuff left and right all the time and itsy has a lot of great content um they have this new well, show i'm just mad at him because of how he's messing up with stray kids now and because got seven i just he don't i won't he's like he's not him. a good manager of boy groups <sighs> he's up with stray kids though He's me- well, he's messing up with them currently because of the whole Hyunjin situation. Like, I, oh. I don't know. Oh. That's really bothering okay. me. And how yeah. he's, like, on hiatus, and Han is just, like, out here living his best life after everything. And I'm just like, wow, this is yeah. a lot. I feel you. He is messing up. I want to get Hyunjin out of there. <laughs> <laughs> the I feel bad at this point. And there was a point where I didn't, I don't know, like, he wasn't one I was focused on. 
Mm. He in the JYP yeah, I agree. dungeon. I know. They really do be having bad. these dungeons and basements, though. Being <laughs> down there. <laughs> he, he, that's I like a self dungeon, out. though. <laughs> It's kind of that. That was kind of a, a decent dungeon because he put himself there. Yeah, it's he did. cushioned he on the walls. It. I'm not saying he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice dungeon. <laughs> okay, next announcement we've got is that Wanho will be doing an online concert, um, and that Wanho oh, okay. Wanho is taking up twenty percent of the entire World Songs chart. Last uh, this week, my boy don't miss. He doesn't what? miss. Twenty percent. What of the world? Yes, twenty percent. <laughs> One ho. Put some respect. Damn. On song Damn. may be called lose, but he don't lose. He don't. He lose. don't miss. He don't miss. He came to win. Yo, what? Wanho is like the best. I'm so 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 proud of him. I also watched. He recently released the behind from his men's health shoot. And let me tell you, I watched all 20 minutes and it was worth it. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, Monster no, X like, is doing that. They did a song with Snoop Dogg for the SpongeBob movie. And uh... <laughs> tell me why I did not hear about oh this. Oh my God. I'm dying. Okay. Maybe we have to react to this. I feel like we do. It's a good. Snoop Dogg and Monster X. Oh my god, it is so interesting. Good. <laughs> okay. Never. <laughs> I, 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 when I, I was hoping. Oh, why did I not know about? This? Oh my gosh, I was like, why? I was like, Monster X in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. So you're telling me Monster X is the real Boys Who Cry, and uh, so I had to listen to it. And, um, you know, I think Wanho is doing better off without them. <laughs> stop! Stop! I respect it. Them. Please yeah. stop it. Because... I respect them. No, I like Monster what are what, what are their fans called? I can't oh Spongebob content. No, I love Spongebob, I and I like Monster X, too. Maybe they just shouldn't be together in the same situation. Well, when you said Stop. Dog, Stop. Like Monster X, I paused. Yeah. Sure. It... But Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg collabed with Psy. We still have to, I haven't seen it, but he did collab with Psy. No, if oh, you really? collabed with Snoop Dogg, yes. you've made it. Like, let's be clear. Exactly. Yeah. I'm proud exactly. of that. So, like, I just think that I need to see the SpongeBob this movie ever since the last spongebob movie not the first spongebob movie i actually love the soundtrack of the first spongebob movie it's one of my favorite movie soundtracks but the last ever since the last one they like had pharrell on it they've been trying to get their own happy you know despicable me happy and uh yeah they're trying too hard and i it's it's just like the song pharrell did and this is pharrell okay one of the greatest, yeah. if not the greatest, the producers Pharrell. of all time. That song was yeah. trash. <laughs> Dang. So, I'm, I'm not coming for Monster X. That was a joke. It's just, if you're, if the SpongeBob movie soundtracks are not good. Like, <laughs> they're just a yeah. little weird. It... <laughs> I would well, like to... I have to see that right. now because now it's in my mind. So, I will be watching that. I added it to end. the to the re yeah, oh. oh it's in the ministry yeah i added it yeah never mind. all right never mind <laughs> but wait 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 before we move on wanho i'm so proud of you I love i'm you. proud of you wanho you too that. you deserve everything Woo! i will watch your concert and buy a ticket i will do that me too you. let's 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 watch let's like watch together i'll i will yeah i'll facetime yeah. you live and we can We're watch gonna, like, also tonight Tonight, actually, BTS is doing a charity concert before the Grammys. Yeah. Okay. Um, charity. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that I'm gonna watch this one, but it's twenty five dollars per ticket, and the proceeds will go to supporting music artists and people in the industry who haven't been able to work due to COVID. Uh, so it's like a really good cause. Okay. So. Yeah, I think it's like Music Cares. Okay. Yeah. And I've heard they're. Of that. 
yeah, they're performing tonight for that, which would be really cool. Nice. Okay, speaking of BTS, they will be performing at the Grammys on Sunday amongst artists like Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack. It's going to be really exciting. I think they'll probably do Dynamite. Um, but you know what? I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for a Black Swan. Dude, okay? Black Swan would be sick. I know sick. they're doing Dynamite, but just in case they have more time, mm-hmm. I am praying for some Black Swan. They better. They're the biggest like, artists in the world right now. Exactly. Like, I want them to do more than one song. At least give them two. Yeah. Like, if, if, if Lil Nas can do Old Town Road and Rodeo, even though Old Town Road was the biggest song in the world that year, I'm just saying mm-hmm. that BTS deserves at least two songs. Please. Please give me that. And I swear to God, if it's Boy With Love, I will just go insane. Give me Dynamite and then give me something with some bass. Yeah. You know, I'll take anything, but I yeah. preferably want Dynamite's Black not disease. Dynamite's not... Well, B is not the album that's nominated. It's Map of the Soul 7, right? No, it's Dynamite. It's B, which is is Dynamite's on. Oh, I thought Map of the Soul 7 was nominated. No, they're nominated for Best Pop Performance with Dynamite. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they'll do Dynamite. I would love to see them do Boy With Love, though. Because I'd love to see all the... the, uh, Grammy stage. I would love to see all the artists be like, oh, okay, this song, because you know that song will get everyone dancing. No, I know, but Black Swan is like... Black Swan is so good, though. It's so good. You know, Black Swan and Boy With Love are my two favorite BTS songs, so you can't go wrong with either. Also, did you see the dramatic reading that all those actors and, like, did for Dynamite? With, I heard like, about it, but uh, I didn't watch funny. it. So funny. It was so funny. It was like Andre Day, Tessa Thompson, um, Tom Holland, like a bunch of like really big names, and it was really funny. Okay. Was Maybe we'll watch that afterwards. <laughs> so um, next announcement, Astro has announced a comeback and an online concert as well. Sid's a big Astro fan, so I'm excited. Love Astro and Astro. Moonbin is very it's... attractive. Love Moonbin. I don't know how I feel about his blonde hair, though, right now, but it's fine. <laughs> Long hair, Rocky. I'm here for this. It looks like the it looks like the concert is like a meet and greet type thing. Mm. And the concept, as per usual with them, is very cutesy. But for this comeback, I don't really know what to expect. So I'm interested to see what they're going to be doing. I don't know if it's another subunit or whether it's all six of them together. Okay. They haven't announced that yet? I think they did, but I didn't pay too much attention. I just saw the tweet and, like, the, the trailer thingy, and I was like, oh, my God, Astro, come back. I left it. <laughs> Dope. Okay. And uh, Bam Bam has announced that he is coming out with a YouTube channel and a clothing line, which we'll be reacting to the trailer of. And afterwards, Mark Twan announced that he will be coming out with something soon as well. I'm excited for GOT7. I have, they keep releasing stuff and I have no idea what's coming next ever. So I'm excited to see what they become separate from the group, but them themselves. And then when they come back together, how that will work, like now that they're on their own, I'm really interested to see what becomes of it. I hope we actually get some more subunits mm-hmm. like that they haven't done before out of Skylar, it. Skylar, you're pretty big Agase. What what subunit would you want to see from GOT7? You know, it might be like a pipe dream, but I've always wanted to see JB and Jackson collaborate. Mm. I know. I just don't, I don't want to sub you, I just want them to collaborate. Mm. And I know that Jackson has talked about it with JB, but it's never actually come to fruition, but I would like to see it. That sounds a good lot. too. JB is usually the one who does sub units though, like him and Yu-Gi-Oh, him and J, what? No, him and Jin Young. So like, 
I wouldn't think it's too far off. Yeah, now that Jackson's in charge of a schedule, you know. I hope not. He, it's just like it's been brought up before, and it's just never happened. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's why I said that. Jackson keeps dropping things one by one, all these collabs. I'm like, what are you I know, when to? I saw What's Team Wong X Bonet, the painter, I was like, hold up. He brought Bonet back from the <laughs> dead to collab for Team Wong. <laughs> <laughs> He clapping with everybody. Yeah, like he just seems like he's on it. He's making his connections, so dope. Well, now it's reaction time, and we've got something big to react to. Well, we've got a couple. We've got three big things to react to, but this one I've been very excited for. Rose solo on the ground. Here we go. Never seen it, guys. Never I know. I waited for today. Sam. I love that shot, that double exposure. I know, exactly. It's very uh, 1989 era Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's giving me Korea's Taylor Swift. Okay, that was hype. I loved that. I loved that. Oh! That was good. That was so good. Wow. That was like Taylor Swift. At that the was best. very her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like hot princess. Like. That was great. That was so good. Is her whole album in English? I think so. Oh. I know, and the Korean fans are like, why are the subtitles in English and not in Korean? I'm like, now you see how we feel. <laughs> they should come in Korean, though. No, they should. They sh I think they probably have by now. But that was so good. I loved the video. <laughs> I loved the Call of Duty kill streak right in the middle of it. Um, I like her outfits. They're very, like... They're very much herself the, and very Blackpink, but also like, you know, like it's very much Rosé's thing. It's like 
they've got a little bit of the black pink aesthetic still there but it's very much like flowery but kind of edgy like rose's thing i love it yeah that was that was exactly like rose yes that's like exactly what we wanted <laughs> yeah and it was it was perfect i loved it that was great okay next we have rain and jackson magnetic which i also have been saving for today i saved all of these for today <laughs> saw it i'm not gonna lie so oh, i kind of like was spoiled and just watched it again <laughs> but i loved it it was cool rain's still so good i know i, I, I know. love seeing rain kill it still i'm telling you i just think it's so funny like he's so he still fits this mm -hmm. which i don't expect of like older men like when i think of older artists that i like personally I never see them doing stuff like this. So the fact that he's still so active in his dance and like in his music videos and does stuff like this, especially collaborating with younger artists is so cool. Yeah, and they're all like psyched to work with him too because it's rain, you know? Yeah, he's a legend. He's a legend. Oh my God, that was so sick. I love the beat. Um, the production was really good on it. Um... And I like the look of it too, the music video. I liked the tracking shot, the one take. Yeah, it's very simple, but like nice. Understated, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next we have Baekhyun and Do Young song Doll. <laughs> Oh, 
Spotify playlist, but I don't feel like it's the same amount of effort as a, a mixtape. beginning there's like a picture of him and like she looks all sad looking at it oh to be continued maybe he didn't die i don't know yeah, i was a bit confused too but it was beautiful it was gorgeous i want to see like a full movie of that yeah, yeah that their voices are bacon and do well, young's uh, voices are just stunning that was beautiful like i'm trying not to get emotional yeah, it was dreamy. I was wrapped up in the story and the song, but like, I was just like, dang, what's that happening? That video was so cute. And the actors are so good. I love that. I'm Catch me watching that every night for like a week, being like, <laughs> to go to sleep. Yeah. I'd put that on just to blow me to I, the It's so, oh my God, it's so sweet. And the camera angles and the, the lighting was so beautiful. I just, oh my God, that was so cute. I loved it. Yeah. I I don't know what I expected for the video, but it definitely wasn't It definitely wasn't that. that. I thought they would do some little dancey dance. Like, it's not an OST, right? Is it an OST? I don't think so, no. Yeah, it's just a song. That was fire. That's a great video for that. That was great. And generally, OST videos aren't really like that either. Yeah, they're like shots from the show, but I was just thinking, like, if it was a film or something, yeah. maybe. They're generally kind of like a highlight It's shot like a film. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It reminds me of this other so KRB I video. I think I showed you a 159 centimeters by Tenny. It was like that, those two girls. Oh, I love that video. Yeah, it reminded me of that. It was very cinematic. and But this one was obviously a way higher budget than that other one, but... 
both are very cinematic and cute. If you liked that Bake Young video and you want to see more videos like that, check out 159 Centimeters by Tenny. Great song. Okay. Next, Bam Bam X Abyss. I guess this is his fashion label? Clothing. Yeah, this is like him modeling for it. Now, I don't know how I feel about the suit jacket without the sleeves, but everything else is good. I, I like it though. I actually do like that one. That white suit is sick. I'm impressed by the clothes. I'm impressed by the clothes. Don't the act like music. that didn't sound like NCT <laughs> It did, but the music just, just every time that wind chime sound to <laughs> come on, I was like, I was like, fuck, like it was so oh, good. Awesome. He looks like really good. But that was good. I, those clothes are they're nice. Sick. I like the yeah. men's wear. <laughs> I like the cheetah print I like it better without the jacket. So is he dividing his time now between Thailand and Korea? Alright, moving on. Uh, next we have Young Hoon from The Boys covering Say Something by A Great Big World, which, um, we kind of have a little inside joke about this song because it was on uh, one of our uh, favorite genres, um. <laughs> Meteor Garden. <laughs> Don't say it's my favorite. I said our as it's a collective. It's a joke. We <laughs> can Olivia literally. It's my okay. favorite because that's the Sorry, only no. one I've seen. <laughs> me, and, me and Olivia used. To I've seen it. I watched it. I won't lie. I did where's watch Skylar it. go? Now, where's Skylar go? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Skylar! <laughs> I can't. Guys, she got mad and hung up. I'm lying. What happened? Did, did that happen to you guys, yes, too? It looked like you got mad and yeah. hung up, so we were dying. It looked like you got mad at us and hung up. That's why we were laughing. We knew that's not what happened. Did it? Wait. No, but seriously, no, did you guys also get kicked off? No, what was that? <laughs> that was so weird. I didn't do that on purpose. But anyway, so me and Olivia Hi, basically used to um, watch this show under interesting conditions <laughs> and we would just laugh and kind of it's like a a love hate watch and over like a time meme, a meme show yeah like a show of memes <laughs> yeah anyway moving on right, let's, let's watch please. this i don't know if you're young the boys say something covered sorry <laughs> A to boys? I can't. Oh, man. Oh, I haven't oh, seen no, this. not the bubbles. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Let Why are you laughing? <laughs> it started. When I hear that say something, I laugh. It started. <laughs> oh, my God. 
every single scene. He's sad, y'all. Leave him alone. It's not him, it's the song. He sounds good. What? pretty too. I like the lighting. That's so dramatic. <laughs> but he looks good. He's so cute. Expecting the burning. Him eating the bubble like that, an Irene reference. This is a very supposed to be a very serious <laughs> music video, and I could not look at you the whole time. <laughs> Listen, I, I was I, I knew it was gonna be dramatic, but like that song is like he sounds great doing it, okay? But that song is so corny, <laughs> and it makes no, it, yeah, that's what. <laughs> That's what we were all feeling. Like, it's the song. He sounds great. His voice is amazing. I actually thought his acting, especially in the scene where he, like, gets the bloody nose and smears it, was really good. Like, his facial expressions were on point. The song does take Okay, but out. also when like, he's running away, the camera's all shaky, and it's like, say, it reminds yeah. me of that TikTok meme where they're running. It's like, everywhere I'm looking now. <laughs> I That's what it reminded me. <laughs> or it's kind of like, run away, love. Run away, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel Anyways, you. Stand the boys. Stand the boys. Young Hoon is cute. <laughs> uh, and then say something, because I'm giving up on you. Shut up, Olivia. <laughs> Next. Uh, Ew. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they say. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they do. We're going to resonate. Okay. Resonate. Resonate. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have what we our what last is... minute edition. I hate you. Snoop Dogg and Monster X. What is the song called? How We Do. <laughs> from the Spongebob movie. <laughs> 
this. There's no video, it's just the... <laughs> See, they even got the boy group I know in it. Okay, this is fun know, though. It's, fun. it's it's like a Nickelodeon Disney Channel song that they have on the yeah, show. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like a boy band or something. Yeah, that's why I said Monster X is the real boys who cry. Literally, First yeah. K-pop to, to cover boys who cry wins. What'd you say? Yep, it's the end of the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's like trolls i, <laughs> I love trolls listen to hair up my troll listen to hair in the air by yeri from <laughs> trolls what was trolls soundtrack listen to the so troll soundtrack in general that wasn't Russian bad roulette. that was fun I didn't hear Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg was in the opening. He's in the beginning. And all oh. the outlets, ad-libs throughout were him. Except for the, this is the end. Yeah, Mike, like, I couldn't hear the audio. Oh. I could not, I listened to that again. I couldn't hear the audio in the beginning, so maybe oh. that's why. Oh, yeah, Snoop Dogg was, like, the, all the opening. And then throughout it, he was like, yeah, let's go. And I was, like, dying yeah. on the side a little bit. You know, it's kind of like, I imagine what, people who lived throughout gangsta rap thought when they first saw uh, are we there yet <laughs> remember the kids movie with ice Cube? oh yeah i used to love that movie and my dad was like ice cube <laughs> and i was like oh my god let's go see are we there what yet and my doing? dad's like wait wait cube is doing a kids movie that movie's amazing, and I love it. I know, it, but so you, uh, I imagine being an older person seeing that must have been like, this is the man yeah. who said, if you fuck with me, I'll put my foot up your ass, is gonna. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mr. Life Ain't Nothing Please But Bitches and Money I'm is doing a kid's movie. Yeah. <laughs> no. This was fun. That was fun. This was a it fun was a episode. fun song. You know what? I threw it under the bus a little more than I think I needed to. But it was just the initial shock. I mean, it, it, it serves its purpose. Yeah. And that's like, it's a SpongeBob soundtrack song. Yeah. So. And you know what? Shout out to Monster X for being big enough to be in the soundtrack of the SpongeBob movie. Exactly. They've been doing a lot of stuff recently. They are they're actually like everywhere in the most random of ways. Like mm -hmm. I come across them in places I never expected to see them represented or included and I'm like, "Whoa." Yeah. So, they're definitely trying to make that western push. Yeah, they actually have an all English album. Oh. It was one of like their Yeah, I think it's from like 2018 or 2019. It's like completely in English. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, that's it for Socks episode 21. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Give us a uh, subscribe and a like. Uh, follow us on Twitter. And you can also catch this on any pretty much any po podcasting service now. We're on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, and more. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I can't even remember all of them. We're on so many. And, um, yeah, see you next week. Bye. Bye.